Hello everyone, thank you for joining again. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to show you how to install Python and Vim in Windows. First, let's go ahead and navigate to a web browser. And on the top part of the web browser, on the URL section, go ahead and type Vim. Let's go ahead and click on this link here, www.vim.org and then we will click on download here on the left section let's go ahead and click on the 64-bit installer once this is complete let's go ahead and open up this uh, executable file by clicking on it it'll ask you for admin privileges click yes click OK for English and then click next you can read this and if you agree to the terms and services you can accept and next here instead of typical let's change this to full and let's click on next this looks okay click next and click install once this is completed you should be able to open up PowerShell and then run Vim. So let's try doing that. Let's click finish. Click on the Windows and start typing power. And then you should see this Windows PowerShell. Click on this. And to test if Vim is installed, just type VIM here. If you see this screen, that means Vim has successfully installed in your Windows operating system. So to escape this, push the escape button, the colon symbol, and then Q. And now let's go ahead and install Python here. So we'll navigate to python.org. Let's click on downloads. And then let's click on download the latest version of Python. Once this is complete, we will run this just the way we ran GVim, and then we will take it from there. So here, once this dialog box pops up, we're going to go ahead and click on add python.exe to path, and uh, we can ignore this one, and then let's click on install now. And once this is installed, we can start using Python in Windows. And I'll show you how to do that using PowerShell. This does take a while, so we could go ahead and close the web browser here. And now we can go ahead and... We could click on this to disable the path length limit. This is so our files can be greater than 260 characters. So let's go ahead and click that and click yes. And now let's close this. Click on the Windows icon again. Type PowerShell. Click on this one. And now to test out if Python was installed successfully, let's type P-Y-T-H-O-N, Python. If you see this dialog box, that means that it's successfully installed. So to quit out of this, push Control Z and hit Enter. Let's type VIM space and then the name of the file. So we'll name it test.py. Now push I to insert text into Vim. And we can go ahead and say print hello I am running in Windows and let's push escape colon WQ to quit out of Vim and now type Python test dot pi as you can see we successfully created a Python file using Vim and we ran the Python file using Python 
and here is the output of that Python file. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time.